Yeah, usually there's no warning. Um, everything is so buttoned up these days in the engine department, and wow, I've, I haven't seen an engine problem in years. So, you know, no, no fault of anybody at Hendrick Engines. Just, we're running hard here. We're running yeah. top five, and there's a ton of RPM down the front straightaway with the tailwind. And we were right in the mix, you know, uh, we were doing the deal. Uh, just couldn't quite clear some guys to get into like that top three, four. And then our car would come back to us on the long run uh, after about lap 30. But it's a shame for everybody at Chip Ganassi Racing. Having an engine failure in the playoffs, it's, it's just like a, a huge parachute that slows you up. And so, you know, we'll pack that parachute up, throw it away, and we'll go to Texas to win. I mean, we knew we were going to have to win either here or Texas. Martinsville, we got a shot at it, too. Uh, but, you know, the odds were stacked against us. But, hey, we're in the top eight for a reason. And I got a great crew chief, Matt McCall. We'll bounce back. But uh, thanks to Monster, Gear Wrench, Chevrolet. It's just one of those things where you have an engine failure and there's nothing we can do about it. And Kurt brings up a great point. With the cooler weather, all of this wind, you never know. That could have certainly been a factor today, right?